Uh, let's talk about Wonka. Alan, you and I have both seen the film. Yes. This is not uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It is not that story. This is Willy Wonka as played by Timothy Chalamet, or as Alan likes to call him, America's Twink. Um, I And I happen to believe that Ch Timothy Chalamet is actually a very good actor. Um, not in everything, but uh, I, I actually like him as Paul Atreides in Dune because he is as described. If you have read the first Dune book, um, Paul Atreides starts as this gangly, skinny, 15-year-old boy. Yes. I believe the term was twinkish. He's twinkish. They, although that term is not used in Frank Herbert's novel, but he is this, he's not a man. He is 15. By the end of the book, he's 18. So the book takes place, the events of the book take place over about a three-year period. Although it sort of jumps back and forth in time, that's a whole other thing. But he ages. So I actually think that the casting of Timothy Chalamet as Paul Atreides is, is very good. This is a different Wonka. This is Willy Wonka who does not have a chocolate factory. It's a Willy Wonka who has been tricked into becoming a, literally a slave to pay off a debt at a, a hotel where he now must do laundry but he's sneaking out and and he is he is at the beginnings of his chocolatier career and he'll create all sorts of delicious different types of chocolates using this sort of mobile kit that he carries around um he befriends a young girl played by what's her uh what's what's her name the character I'll find oh her. uh it's a weird name I remember that. It's not a weird name, but it's uh, she befriends this young girl who who becomes sort of his uh, his sidekick. Her name is Noodle. Yeah, sorry. Played by Calla Lane. Weird name. Yeah, Noodle. And Noodle has never tasted chocolate. And Willy Wonka befriends her by making a special chocolate treat for her. Um, suddenly, rivals have become aware of Willy Wonka's talents as a chocolatier and is then pursued by all these other chocolate companies, Fickle Gruber, among others. They all want to take out Willy Wonka. He's making it's a chocolate treats. cartel. It's yeah. It's basically the chocolate cartel wants to take him out. They, there's all this corruption where they befriend a police officer uh, played by Keegan, Michael key, who, who they make, you know what they do in this movie? They make a fat joke. Not everybody's going to be happy with this, but Keegan Michael Key plays this police officer who's bribed with chocolate, and through the film, just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It's pretty funny, but it is. It feels like in tone with a lot of the Roald Dahl stuff that I read. I read the original book by Roald Dahl and the sequel, The Great Glass Elevator. Love those books. They're very weird, and a lot of dark things happen. Um, as as Willy Wonka is fighting the chocolate cartel, trying to escape this this life of servitude that he he fell into, he was he was he was tricked into this. Um, he then meets a little Oompa Loompa who has been stealing his chocolate. He traps him, and his name is Lofty. No idea why the Oompa Loompa was named Lofty, but here here we are. And Hugh Grant plays this as soon as he enters the story about halfway in the film. Hugh Grant, to me, is the best part of this movie. Um, he is so funny as this character. He's not nearly in it enough. I think maybe that's why he's good, is we get him in little doses. And it's Willy Wonka sort of... He, uh, this is the story in the second half, how how he kind of gets a factory and will become the chocolatier mm -hmm. um, that, that we know from the movies and books. The interesting thing about it is there's a running thread about his mother. His mother has passed away and he has this last chocolate bar that his mother gave him and he will not eat it no matter what. He doesn't eat, doesn't touch this chocolate bar. I thought that was that was touching. It's directed by Paul King. Sorry, what? Paul King. Paul King who did uh the Paddington movie and it has this kind of whimsical feel to it that once you get into it, 
I, I have to admit that I enjoyed it. And Timothy Chalamet has this weird, his whole thing is that he's incredibly optimistic no matter what happens. The worst things could happening in the world, they're in danger, they're going to die. He's, he's still super optimistic. This isn't, he's not trying to do a Gene Wilder imitation. He's not like, I think Johnny Depp just took it too far where it was just bizarre, right? Um, where you kind of see the origins of Willy Wonka along with telling the story of the five children um, coming to the chocolate factory. This isn't it at all. It's a completely different story. Um, and in the end of the day, I really enjoyed it because frankly, I think it works on two levels. Um, it, it works. It's, it's fun for kids and there's all sorts of humor that would appeal to adults. There, uh, there is music in it. And let's just say Timothy Chalamet is not a great singer, but he's not a bad singer. He is a competent singer. So in the end, I actually had a, a unexpectedly really enjoyed the film. Um, I think it has a problem of being too long, like almost every movie does today, unfortunately. So it is what it is, but um, I enjoyed it. I would recommend it um, probably somewhere between a six and a seven, but really recommend it just to like, you want to escape the world, go into a fantasy realm. You know, Wonka, I, I think um, delivers on that. Not a perfect film by any means, but there are some moments that are really uh, touching uh, about a love of candy. Uh, Alan, what did you think of Wonka? Yeah, I, I uh, completely agree with you. Uh, I I really like this movie. Um, I will say it's probably the best this year, um, which I, I'll qualify it. Uh, the, the problem with all the musicals this year is all the songs are not memorable. Uh, I couldn't, right. couldn't sing a single one. This one is the same thing. It's not memorable. I, I can't re recite to you a single lyric. Right. But uh, from the quality and from its placement in the story and the fact that it does propel the story along, the music's very good. Mm -hmm. um, I, I will say, uh, Paul King, if you... if you Look, this is this is Paul King. Uh, his fingerprints are all over it. It's, it's as good as Paddington. Um, and, and, you know, I think Paddington... Uh, I think people enjoy... Paddington. I don't, I don't think people will say it's the greatest kids movie ever made, um, but there's enough good stuff about it to make you know to make it a a, a quality children's film for a, that adults can watch. And I think I think Wonka here is the same way. Um, and so uh, you know, this is one of those cases where you know the only reason I was ever even interested in Wonka was because Paul King was behind it, and 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 he pulled through, and and uh, that was great. He. The the thing that I like most about Wonka though is it's it's positivity. It's, yes. it's an overall positive movie. It's just about overcoming you know the obstacles in front of you, uh, growing a bit as a person, and coming out uh, ahead of the game on top at the end. And uh, this movie this movie is it. This is the movie that that you take your kids to. You'll feel good about it. Um, I will say it is a direct prequel to the Gene Wilder. Um, uh, the Gene Wilder Willy Wonka, only because it ends on uh, pure imagination. There's, I believe that's uh, maybe there's two songs that they bring into it from from the original, but uh, I believe it is meant to be uh, a direct prequel to to all that. And, and I have so, to admit, when that music mm -hmm. came up at the end, it just brought me back. Yeah, brought me I mean, back. They they set up the uh, uh, the they they placed it in the right context. They built it because the movie does appear at the beginning. The song does appear, appear at the beginning of the movie and you kind of see the evolution of that um you know you know to to those who love gene wilder uh and and i i get it and i don't i have nothing bad to say about that um you know it's it's a different movie it's uh you know it's definitely got more special effects in it than than the original um you know at some point you just kind of have to divorce yourself and say divorce yourself from that and say that this is a movie unto itself and and I believe it works, you know. Yeah. And Timothy Chalamet, uh, you know, I think, you know, he's he's uh, he's doing pretty good in terms of choosing roles lately. Yeah. No. Um. I, yeah. I I I like Timothy Chalamet as an actor. There's a film, and I'm forgetting the name of it. Um. He plays a drug addict. It's on Amazon Prime. Um. Steve Carell plays his father. It's based on a true story. Mm -hmm. He's very good. And I, I think he's also really versatile as an actor and, and just his, the, the thing that you pointed out in, in, in your review, 
positivity. Mm-hmm. That's what's sadly lacking in so many films. Even like the so-called superhero movies lack like a positivity. This is a, oh, it's, it's going to be dark. Or like my favorite one is this is the Empire Strikes Back of insert yeah. the movie. I, I, I don't know. There's so much darkness in our real world right now. I want a movie that's not dark. And if you're looking for that, this is it. It's positive. It's entertaining. And it's hopeful. And the the just sort of, you know, his performance as Wonka just oozes optimism. You can take your kids to it. You're not mm-hmm. going to have to worry about anything. There's no Any subversive messages other than Roald Dahl himself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Roald Dahl was pretty. Yeah. But but it's not it's not anything that would that you'd find upsetting at all. There's no sort of messaging other than I mean, a positive message. What's the positive message? Work hard to achieve, achieve your dream. That's the message of Wonka. Yeah, and and give chocolate to everyone in the world. <laughs> right, right. I mean, but that, I mean, that's that's just it. Is it's this idea of living a life where you can gift the world with something positive. Yeah, you know, and and ultimately that's what that's what I think the Wonka series is is about. Well, this is great. We both agree for once. Yeah, for this one time. This one time. No, we agree more than that, but I'd I'd say we agree maybe 30, 40 percent of the time. It depends on the movie. 